What is going on you guys today? We are in Phoenix, Arizona. And it is hot. <laughs> and we are gonna head to some thrift stores. We're in town for the camp listing party event, hosted by Liz Perfectly, that just ended and we have been stuck in a hotel room for three days. So we're gonna go thrift, see what we can find out here in Phoenix. Let's walk straight over here to the shoe section. Found this pair of purple hokas. These are Bondi fives or something. Great condition on the bottom. And as you can see, they're only $5. That is a crazy price for hokas. Definitely gonna grab those. There's another pair down here. These are the Clifton 8s, also in really solid condition. A little bit of wear to these, but still only five bucks. Uh, yeah. Over here in the boots, they got this big pair of Buffalo Sorel boots. They look old, They're only $10, but those look pretty good. I'm gonna go get a buggy. We were actually trying to be very selective on things today because Haley and I, nor I have room in our suitcase for pretty much anything. So we were only gonna buy something if it was a really good deal. And I think all three of these pair of shoes is a really good deal. So we're probably gonna have to go to Home Depot or something, get a box and just use UPS and ship it all back home. I don't think we'll be able to fit all this stuff in our suitcases. Haley also has a pair of shoes. Found. Harry Potter vans and they're only six dollars. Yeah, that's awesome. Add them to my shoe I pile. We don't have enough room for this. I think we're gonna have to ship to yeah, ourselves. Yeah, I just yeah, I just got on there. I got these are five bucks. Yeah, here. And those are here, five bucks. Those. Back. Look at these antlers. Look at this. Can we ship this? Um, fifteen dollars. No, but look at that. Peter Pan snow globe. I don't want to ship that. That's That'll cool. break. Okay, so like, they have a couple of cool shoes. These are a little bit priced up though. Those minimus? Like barefoot minimus shoes, but they're 15. Hmm. Just honorable mention. <laughs> honorable mention. Got some black and gold Nike Zoom Pegasus 35s up here. Those are too bald though. Look at this. This is so cool. Goofy hat with ears. Goofy's Hat Co. Walt Disney. It's only a dollar. That's really cool. Foot joy, like leather bag. It's only $3. I'm gonna grab that. Over here in the shirts, I just found this Adidas men's polo. It's $8, which is more than normally paid, but it's a 6XL. Never actually seen a 6XL before, so I imagine they're not easy to come by uh, in the used market. So this is probably like a $30, $35 shirt on eBay, but it does have some stains on the bottom that kind of look like ink or something. So I'm gonna pass on this one, but there is another one right here. Oops, this one's $6. It's also a 6XL. So if this doesn't have any stains on it, well, it does, unfortunately. I haven't found anything in a while, but I did just pick up this Under Armour Tech T. So it says 3XL, great size, and it's only five bucks. Should be an easy 20, maybe 25 bucks or so for us. This is a cool shirt, $3. It's on a Disney Parks tag and it's tie-dye Disneyland Resort size 2x really good size yeah I'm gonna grab that oh look at that M&M shirt oh that's cool also 2x and five dollars on that one hmm I think I'm gonna grab both of those I've heard of this active wear brand Buff Bunny not sure the resale value but I think this has a really good following I think it's a youtuber that does it so I think I'm gonna pick these up these are Five dollars. Just found this pair of Salomon leggings. This is a really great shoe brand, like a hiking hiking brand. I'm assuming these are really, really good too. These are five dollars. Just found this this pair of it's eight dollars, but it's new with tags, Fabletics leggings, and a really cool pattern. I think these will do pretty well. I'm gonna grab those. Haley just found a nice lot of leggings, and I yeah. just found this pair of Nike pants. They aren't extra small, which is the only bad thing about it, but they're only six bucks, and they're like windbreaker joggers, and they have like this white snakeskin pattern to them. It's pretty good. I mean, even though they're extra small, they don't look super tiny. I think we can find somebody that wants them. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Disney, Disney before Christmas. Yeah. Look at that. That's so cool. Is it cool. actually stitched? Yeah, no, it's, you can it's feel like it. a puff paint. Yeah, four yeah. bucks. Yeah, we do really well with like Disney and specifically Nightmare Before Christmas. Whatnot, There's a especially. huge, huge fan base for that. Mm -hmm. So thrift stop number one was a pretty major success, I would say. Oh, it was awesome. Went I was there. finding brands that, like we never find, which is yeah. really like exciting for a thrifter, you know. Yeah, we spent, I don't know, almost an hour in there. So we're gonna go grab some lunch because I haven't eaten breakfast today, uh, take a little breaky poo and then head to maybe a Goodwill. Some people say the Goodwills here are really good. Some people say they're really bad. 
Let's see who's live. We ended up going to in and out for lunch because we don't have them back home in South Carolina where we're from, but we do have Five Guys. And I will say my personal opinion, I think Five Guys has a better burger and better fries than in and out but I do also recognize that they are significantly more expensive. I've never been to a Whataburger. I don't think Haley has either, so we don't really have an opinion on that one, but definitely drop a comment down below and let us know what your favorite quick service burger restaurant is. Next stop is gonna be the Arizona Humane Society thrift store. I know I said we're gonna to go to Goodwill, which we will. Dogs are welcome video. in here, so this is probably the best store we're gonna go to. Haley, if we see a dog in here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my gosh, my mind is lost. The music at this thrift store was astronomically loud, so please forgive this small voiceover portion. But I got this little hat stand here. I don't know what the prices are, but we did find a couple. This Florida Marlins 950 hat. It's got the sticker on it, but it's also got a little bit of discoloration along the bill. So gently used condition, I think they'll do all right. This is a Selkirk hat. It's a pickleball paddle brand, so I think that's pretty cool. Maybe 15 to 20 bucks on that. This Camaro Richardson visor was pretty cool as well. And this new with tags Adidas hat. Got this for Nike Blazer Lowe's right here. These are men's nine and a half. A little bit of dirt along the soles, but that should be a pretty easy clean. Plenty of tread left on the bottom, and shoes are only $4.50. Another pair of shoes here, some New Balance 574 gray golf shoes. They've got soft spikes on the bottom. They're a good size, too. These are a men's 12, two extra wide. Again, only $4.50. Think I'll grab those. We need to find a box that we can ship all this stuff in and then know exactly how much room we have in the box before we buy, buy too much. Hey, let's get a nice Lion King Disney shirt over here. Very nice. That's cool. Love um, it. Do you know what that, that says over there? What? Oh, the t shirt? Uh, well, shoes are $4.50, so t shirts cannot be very expensive. It says most clothing and shoes $4.50 each. So I can't imagine they charge the same for a pair of shoes as they do a t shirt. No. So these might be probably the most beautiful bar stools I've ever seen in a thrift store. It's all four for 300 bucks, which is a killer deal. They're definitely vintage. I believe this is tiger oak or something. You can see it's like a mirrored piece right there. It's all, well, I don't know if this is hand carved, but it's got some nice hand carvings on the side. They all look to be in great shape. I don't think this is leather. I think it's like a vinyl cushion, but still 300 bucks for a set of four is a crazy good deal. And they're just absolutely beautiful. If you want them, they're here. So I just found this jacket over here on this thing. It's got some nice little embroidery on the sleeve, little button front, kind of an interesting collar. The brand is uh, Fakinable, Fakanable something? Spandex made in Peru, size large. It's got a little rose thing on the sleeve, but then on the back, it's got a nice sugar skull embroidery and it's got a little, little something something on the sleeve right there. So I don't know, the signs say most clothes 450 and I don't see any special tags on this. So if this is 450, we'll definitely get it, right Haley? I thought, yeah, I found two things. I found Pitula leggings, which Pitula. have a really good following. Yeah. Um, extra size brand. Um, and then I found some rag and bone. Nice. But they're like jeggings, but I still think the pattern's cool enough yeah. to get them. 450 for all of these clothing pieces. We'll get it. Apparently there was a 20% off sale today. Yeah, uh, <laughs> So we got all that stuff for $25. It was like 24, 60, I rounded up. I did put those New Balance golf shoes back because one, they were priced at $10, which I didn't see that. And two, they had uh, some separation, like the sole was coming off the back. So I just, I passed. He actually offered to sell them to us at like 450, I guess. Uh, but even at that price, it's just not worth it. So not bad. We'll add it to the box, which we do not have yet. Haley, we, we need, need to, to go find a box. Unfortunately, we have come to the Home Depot to get a box today. If you guys don't know, we are in a seemingly never ending battle yeah. with the Home Depot to pass them in YouTube subscribers. They have taken a strong lead, but I truly believe that with your help, we can eventually get to their subscriber count as well as pass them. So if you're watching this video so far and you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit that red button down below turn it gray or whatever it turns nowadays uh, and you'll be notified when we post new videos. Josh picking up some tape too. Whoops, drop my phone off. Always. 694, 598. Oh, we got 398. Perfection Perfect. Perfect. With the little roll thing too. Yeah. We, we got, got the large box, which is 20. It's about yay big. It's about that big. I think that's plenty of room for like five or six pairs of yeah. shoes and some clothes and maybe yeah. some other goodies and knickknacks. Exactly. So now this way we have a box now and so we can fill the box and make sure that we don't actually go over the box and then when the box is full, we're done. We're done. <laughs> 970. 
small price to pay. Please remove your card. Oh, Would you like an e-receipt? No, thank you. That is an awful noise. Yeah, yeah. It's like a pterodactyl. Yeah. So here's everything that we got today in the box. It's like, I don't know, a little bit more than halfway built. So yeah, we two have... stops too, it's awesome. Yeah. We definitely have to make it to a Goodwill today. And maybe, I think there's another like- Deseret, Deseret, let's do it. There's another Deseret and there's another something. So we'll see you in a minute. First Goodwill of the day. Very excited to get in here and see what these prices look like. Over here in the shoe section, I got this pair of brand new with tags Olukai flip flops for only $8.79. They are written on the bottom with an E, but I don't think that matters very much. Original retail is $80.95. Yeah, we'll grab those. Okay, my first find in here is this Disneyland Resort sweater. It's a full zip Disney size medium, and it's only $5. And the back has a huge hit on it. I think that's so cool. If there's a theme today for Haley's finds, it's definitely Disney and Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a really cool, like, tie-dye. It's modern. It's on... Nightmare Before Christmas tag, size extra large. It's only $7. I mean, this is a really good price for a sweatshirt. Cool hit on the sleeve. Yeah, definitely grabbing that. So I've been looking around the store for a couple minutes now. A lot of the clothes are just, they're not crazy price, but they're just too expensive for, for what we're looking for. Haley found a couple things as well. However, when I was over here earlier, I found this little bass piggy bank. It's got a little phone thing in the top, a little bass. I don't know how much it's worth. It's $3.49. And it is dated on the bottom right here. 2000? No, 2003, I think. So either way, it's vintage. I think that's cool. And I'm going to get it. He is plastic, so I don't think I'll worry about him breaking in the box. I did just find the perfect souvenir for us. <laughs> it's a dry heat. It's not a Tervis. It's $1.49. Uh, no, it is a Tervis. Yeah, Tervis Tumble. Made in USA. So yeah, I'll definitely get that. $1.50 well spent over there. Turbis tumblers aren't worth a ton of money, but they're just a good solid quality cup. So we buy them all the time. What is this? Born to Sparkle. Always looking for Starbucks tumblers or anything like that. That the people are... Oh, we got a Yeti? It's a Yeti. $3.49. It's got a lid. It does have a Dunn Orthodontics on there, but if you don't care about that... I'm pretty sure that's like laser engraved onto the cup. You could put a sticker on there or something. I think I'll get that. $3.49. I mean, this is like a, what, a $40 cup? New? I think that's worth it. But well, this was just hanging on the rack. It is $10, but it's a Jordan hoodie, and it's 3XL. Jordan hit on the front, full zip. Really nice, nice condition. I don't think anything's wrong with it. I'm going to grab that for sure. Got a little Lululemon shirt right here. Men's size large. $12.99, not a terrible price, but there is a little stain on the bottom. It looks like it would come out, but I don't know. 13 bucks is just a little steep. These usually go for like, I don't know, V-neck maybe like 20, maybe $25 or so plus shipping on eBay. So there's just not enough room for it, for profit on it for us. They just rolled out this rack a couple minutes ago. They got this leather jacket priced at 20 bucks. It's an Adler, size medium, never heard of that before, but I mean, it's just really, really awesome looking. It's got the little like, Aztec pattern, black leather here, like a suede brown leather there. Full zip. Very nice. The pattern continues on the back. I don't see any major issues. I'm not 100% sure what it's worth, but I think 20 bucks is a small price to pay for something so cool. We'll probably throw it up on eBay for like 75 or 80 and just see what happens. Same cart. We got a $12.99 North Face men's um, like half zip pullover looks to be in pretty good shape it's a size large good size i think that's worth it for 12.99 nothing on the back it feels nice like it doesn't feel super warm it's probably only been worn maybe five to ten times i'll grab that for 13 bucks same rack i also have this nike full zip jacket it's a size extra large also 12.99 <sighs> You know, I don't normally like paying this much, but again, this feels very unused. I think it's, I don't know if it's a golf jacket or what. I mean, you could use it for golf, but good size, extra large. I think we could probably get like maybe 30 bucks for that. A little bit more than doubling our money. I think that's worth it. All right, shout out Josh. He found his um, women's clothing women's allotment clothing. for today, and it's pretty good. It's, it's $8.49 and they're Nike dry fit leggings, but 
They're new. New attacks. Tight fit, mid-rise, full length. Just what the ladies want. Yeah, perfect. Good job, Josh. A49. <clears throat> you ready to go? Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this book though. What you gonna do with that duck by Seth Godin? It's so heavy though. Seth. Well, I'm gonna take with him on the plane. I just wanted something to read. Oh, okay. I think I've read one of his books before. But I'm not 100% sure, but it seems interesting. This is a collection of all of his like best blog posts that he's done. Books are kind of expensive here though. $3.29. That cents is crazy. For one book. I'll read it. Okay, ready? Yes. So, Goodwill stop number one, third thrift stop of the day, I think. $100 even. I've rounded up is like 99 60 something they also had celsius in there i got a celsius and Haley got a i got a gatorade gatorade i think it was really good again that jacket Haley actually passed on the jacket i don't know if you filmed i did it i i passed on it because i thought 20 dollars was too expensive but. i mean it is kind of expensive but it's 100 percent leather it's got a cool pattern i think somebody will buy it just unloaded everything we got from that goodwill over there into the box and it's pretty much full I think if we went to another location, we would get more than when we could yeah. fit in here. So I think we should be done for the day. Yeah, I think we will uh, call it quits. All right, the box is officially taped up. Yep, that last Goodwill stop filled her up. We're going to head in here to the UPS store, use their scale to weigh the box, see how much it weighs, and then take that information, put it in a pirate ship on my phone, buy the label, have them print it, and then go from there. We'll see. I'm going to say, money. how much do you think it's going to weigh? Um, I don't know. I haven't picked it up. I'm gonna say like 35 pounds. Okay. Something like that. You guys, it is literally 34 pounds. 34 Josh was pounds right on it. Also, shout out this girl back here. She's also using Pirate Ship. Okay, so we just bought the label 5414. Going from Arizona to South Carolina. Not too bad for a 34 pound box. That's big. The deed is done. The package is on the way. Well, it will be soon. And uh, hopefully, it will arrive safely i know we're gonna get some comments Haley brought this up like oh it's so expensive because you guys have to pay the extra thrift prices and the cardboard box and the tape and the shipping shipping was 54 dollars mm -hmm. it's like it's, 60 dollars in basically. yeah yeah but i mean some profit is better than no profit so what's the other option i am curious if you could check a cardboard box yeah. on the airline like, does it have to be luggage or can we just check the box? Because we could, the box weighed less than 50 pounds and we could check it for like 30 bucks. Yeah. So, I don't hindsight. know. <laughs> hindsight. We'll try that out next time and let you know. So, fast forward a couple of hours. We went back to the hotel, hung out with Rally Roots, Rockstar Flipper, all those cool people that we met at camp listing party this year. And now, Haley and I are pulling up to a place called Pop Stroke. It's a fancy Tiger Woods designed putt putt golf course. Yeah. It looks super fun. Yeah, they have like a, like you pay like an all day fee or whatever. It's like thirty dollars, and then you can get like food like delivered to your hole. Yeah. So like I'm pretty excited. We're very excited. It was hard to find parking, but we made it. So far, so good. We haven't started yet. It's a little crowded. Yeah, we got a got a group of five people in front of us, but it's got they got sand trap trees, real rocks. Hey, you actually get to keep the balls here too, and it's a real golf ball, not like a fake one at most putt putt courses. I'm very impressed so far. I uh, just want to shout out Pop Stroke. They've got amazing. Look at Haley's chicken sandwich. That is delicious looking. We also we also had the buffalo chicken dip as an appetizer, and it was one of the top three best things I've ever eaten in my entire life. So if you're ever at Pop Stroke. Uh, anywhere get the buffalo chicken dip earlier this morning before we went thrifting we actually hung out with ryan and callie from rally roots as well as our new friend aaron that we met at the list perfectly event we played some pickleball and aaron actually caught this pretty sick point on video for us So overall, our trip down to Phoenix, Arizona for Camp Listing Party was a huge success. The event in general was really good. Found a lot of stuff at the thrift stores. And if you guys did not come, you definitely missed out. And if you don't want to miss out on the next big reseller event, you can get tickets to that down below. FlipCon is going to be Charlotte, North Carolina, August 9th through the 12th. Uh, tickets are still available. I think we have like 100 or so left. Uh, it's a reseller event hosted by me and my beautiful wife, Haley. And we have put a lot of time and effort and energy into this event this year. So if you guys choose to trust us with your time and energy and money to come to the event uh, i promise we will do whatever we can to make it the best reseller event you have ever been to thank you guys so much for watching today's video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and love you so much and catch you on the next one Whew.